Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys the noise reduction and dialogue processor effects in DaVinci Resolve 16 for the Fairlight tab, that's audio editing. So these are two effects you can add to your audio clips, but whether that's a recorded voice over the original audio of your clip, or even you can apply it to a sound effect or whatever you need to, to generally improve the audio quality by doing things like removing background noise, removing some of the sounds with the de which is part of the dialogue processor. Before I show you guys that, I do want to point out that you can actually use these effects not only when you add them to the audio clip, but also if you're going to queue up any of your audio mixer tracks for recording, you can add them as an effect over here. So with the audio mixer, you can see I have audio track one and there's effects and then a plus button. If you click on that, you can add in any of these effects to filter out your audio and improve it when you're recording it live. So if I wanted noise reduction so that it, it gets less background noise while I'm recording, you can add that in there before you queue up a track for recording. And now putting that aside, I just want to show off the dialogue processor and noise reduction with the rest of the video. So before we get to that, I want to show you guys the audio clip I recorded before we add the processor in, and it's intentionally terrible. There's a lot of background noise and that sort of thing. So uh, let's go ahead and hit play here. So in this scene, we have a mountain shot with a bunch of forest trees and oh look, the sun is popping out over the horizon just before sunset. Or is that sunrise? Who knows? That's about all. So you can hear that there's a lot of people talking in the background in a staticky white background noise. And that is obviously not going to sound very good. So we can add a noise reduction to take care of a good chunk of that. When we add noise reduction to the clip, you'll notice this FX symbol pop up if it wasn't there already, indicating that there's an audio effect on the track. And the simple way to use this tool is to put it in auto speech mode if you're trying to filter out the audio. In most cases, you're just going to try to be getting rid of the background noise while someone is speaking. So auto speech mode will work perfect for that. And now when we go back to the start of the audio clip and we try playing, you'll notice that this noise reduction graph will automatically adjust itself as it tries to listen to the audio and hear the person speaking, finding the right levels at these different frequencies to filter out the background noise. So I'll play it back again with this noise reduction effect added on. So in this scene, we have a mountain shot with a bunch of forest trees and oh look, the sun is popping out over the horizon just before sunset. Or is that sunrise? Okay, so you can see how the background noise is a lot less evident. It's still there a little bit, so it's important when you're actually recording your audio for real that you try to do it in a quieter, controlled environment so that the background noise is minimal to begin with. But if you need to, you can play around with the settings at the bottom. So for instance, we could bump up the threshold, and you can also do it live. So I'll try tweaking the settings here a little bit while it plays back and see if we can get it to sound a little bit better. So in this scene, we have a mountain shot with a bunch of forest trees and oh look, the sun is popping out over the horizon just before sunset. Or is that sunrise? Who knows? That's about all. So overall, that's not too bad. Let's add in the dialogue processor now. So when we have the dialogue processor, you'll notice that this is not one, but actually six effects. Most of these effects you can add individually if you want over on the left. So when we open up the dialogue processor, you can see that it includes not one, but six effects here that you can toggle on and off individually. If you find that any of these effects actually make it worse, not better. You'll notice that a couple of these, like the de and the compressor, are also available as individual effects over in the Fairlight effects uh, library. Or of course with third-party plugins such as the Reaper compressor. So before we play it back, one thing I would recommend is that if you know that the speaker is male, toggle it from female here on the Excite to male, because obviously it's a male speaker. So let's play it back from the start now one more time. So in this scene, we have a mountain shot with a bunch of forest trees and oh look, the sun is popping out over the horizon just before sunset. Or is that sunrise? Who knows? That's about all. I played around with it a little bit and I figure that the frequency and the de-rumble is too high. It actually removes a lot of the depth of the sounds. So while it's playing, I'll take this de-rumble setting and toggle it down and you'll see the difference. So let's play it back. So in this scene, we have a mountain shot with a bunch of forest trees and oh look, the sun is popping out over the horizon just before sunset. You can see once I drop it down to about 65, 70, it sounds a little better. So with these, you just kind of need to play around with them a little bit. So let's play it back one more time with both the dialogue processor and the noise reduction on. So in this scene, we have a mountain shot with a bunch of forest trees and oh look, the sun is popping out over the horizon just before sunset. 
Or is that sunrise? Who knows? That's about all. And now, just for comparison, let's take both of those effects off and show the original. And you can hopefully see how including these may improve your audio. So with no audio effects. So in this scene, we have a mountain shot with a bunch of forest trees. And oh look, the sun is popping out over the horizon just before sunset. Or is that sunrise? Who knows? That's about all. So there you go, that's the basic idea of how you can add in audio effects, namely the noise reduction and dialogue processor onto your clips, play a bit around with the settings and try to get yourself to have a better sounding audio. But of course, once again, if you want good audio, it's best to have a decent recording environment from the start that doesn't have a lot of these background noises to begin with. But hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can add in these effects to improve your audio, whether it was recorded good or bad and how you can actually use these effects while you're recording by adding them in as an effect over in the mixer before you queue up your tracks for recording and record in the audio timeline. So that's going to be it for this quick video on audio effects in DaVinci Resolve 16. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.